When you think of global sporting events in London, you might picture football at Wembley or tennis at Wimbledon. But recently, this historic city hosted something different. I'm here with AWS at the League of Legends World Championships. And as you can tell, it is getting really busy. Look at all the people. Let's go talk to some people. Something that connects millions of people across the world through technology. Okay, so I had the opportunity to fly to London with AWS to attend the League of Legends World Championships and learn more about the tech going on behind the scenes. While the players on stage are about to battle for glory and wins, I'm more interested in the invisible battle, the one that involves data centers, network architecture, and some mind-blowing engineering, which we're gonna cover today. First up, it's important to note every second, millions of pieces of data are flying through the air around us, which is kind of mind-blowing to think about. Every click, every ability, every moment you see on these screens when you are playing a video game is powered by technology that has to work flawlessly. And today, we're going to show you exactly how it's done. For you around the tech that powers League of Legends. Oh no. <laughs> I know, I know, it's okay. There's no trick questions here. So the first is, do you know what company, what tech powers the game? No. Okay, answer is AWS. AWS. <laughs> Who are you dressed up as today? I am dressed as Fright Night Zeri. You look so amazing. I love the commitment as well, like full Thank look. You. It looks amazing. <laughs> the question I have for you is, what do you think is the most amount of players who have been online playing League of Legends at once? Oh, I'd say ooh, maybe close to 100K. Oh. We're, we're talking in the millions. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? That is insane. I know. I know there's a lot of people who watch it once, never mind play it once. It's true, it's true. The hat you're wearing, I know you're just telling Ashwin about it. Yeah. Can you tell the audience about it? Well, it's uh, Ramos hat. It's a champion in League of Legends. He likes rolling around and he's very tanky. Nice, okay, okay. Yeah. So I have a question for you about the tech. So, you know, we're playing League of Legends. Do you know who powers the tech behind the game? Powers? Yeah. As in, like, like the team-wise, or do you mean like the machine? No, like in the like game, game when you connect to the game at home. Oh, what do you think happens? I mean, it's probably like the servers. Yeah. You connect to the servers, and then all the inputs and outputs go in, and then it spreads out to all. That's pretty good. You know? I gotta say, do you know what company does that? I have no clue. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's AWS. We power all of Riot's game servers. Oh, really? And hi, how are you both today? Good, very good. Your outfits look incredible. Can you tell me who you are dressed as, just in case someone isn't familiar? We are the cast and minions that you kill in the lane for money. So just yes. the NPCs, I guess. We think they don't get shown enough. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Well, you both look amazing. And it's nice, it looks like warm and comfortable costumes. Yes, we did think about what we wanted to dress up as, and we thought, it's London, it's November, it's cold. That's smart. Let's do the full thing that doesn't show like the midriff and arms so we can stay warm. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> really big server, like warehouse size with just a bunch of cables and everything. I like that answer. Ashwin, Ashwin is the solutions architect expert at AWS. Yeah, so AWS is what powers League of Legends. It's like a cloud computing service that is run by Amazon. Uh, we power the game servers, but it's not a huge game okay. server. It's a, a they're large game servers, but it's thousands of them, and we have them all over the world so that people in Europe, North America, yeah, South regions. America can play. Yeah, the regions yeah. exactly. So we have regions all over the globe, and uh, players wherever they are can connect to game servers close to them, so the latency is not bad. And you know we can pull off our combos properly. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> and have you, how many players do you think have been online at once playing League of Legends? Like the most amount of players all playing at once? Man, no idea. 12 million? I don't know. 12 million, that's a good guess. It is? Yeah, it was, it was around 8 million we, we read, so that was pretty good. Online numbers. <laughs> and then the last question I have for you is Ashwin actually was one of the um, builders or engineers that helped create... Win probability. Probability. Oh. Have you seen that or used that before when you're watching games? Oh yeah, right. It, it shows up in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. in the bottom. With yeah, the yeah. Grab, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Okay, so you can thank Ashwin for that. Ashwin, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it makes me understand more what yeah, happens. Yeah, that's what we were hoping. Is that it's a it's a storytelling yeah. uh, mechanism for people that you know might not be super familiar with the mm -hmm. game, but at least it tells you like who's winning, you know, who's trending towards winning, and then we can overlay the graphs on top of each other so you can see in a best of five like what were the trends for the game. So that, that's one of the cool things that you can that's see. That's me, because I, I play, but I don't know too much. Yeah. I, I never know who's leading. That's yes. what we're trying to do, make yeah. League more accessible so that more people can get into League Esports and using technology to you know, do new things, tell new stories, and just 
have a good time. Okay, I really enjoyed talking to some of those fans. Those costumes were epic, first of all, and the guesses from the fans were really interesting. Many spot on. But what is actually happening in these milliseconds between clicking your mouse and seeing your champion move? To understand this better, I sat down with AWS solutions engineer Ashwin, who helps make sure millions of these actions happen smoothly every single second. No pressure. Normally you play against five other players. We can play against bots when you're just, you know, uh, learning to play. So, um, you know, low stakes. Exactly. Okay, that gave us a lot of insight, but let's break down exactly how latency works in games like League of Legends. First, imagine you're in a game and you click to move your champions. That one single click creates a data packet that needs to travel through multiple networks to reach Riot servers. The packet contains your exact input where you clicked what ability you used, if you used a different kind of superpower, and when you used it. This journey from your computer to the server is called uplink latency. And AWS helps optimize this journey using something called edge location. It goes from Riot Direct, then across Direct Connect to AWS. Instead of your click traveling all the way to a central server, it hits the nearest location first, creating a faster, more optimized path. Now, once your input reaches the server, it needs to be processed alongside inputs from nine other players, if we're using the example of 10 players playing at once, synchronized perfectly and sent back to everyone in the game, no matter where they're located. This return journey is your downlink latency. The entire round trip needs to happen in under 60 milliseconds, which is mind blowing. To put that in perspective, that is less time than it takes to blink. So, I mean, think about it. Using the example still of 10 players, potentially all using abilities at the exact same time, affecting each other and the environment. Every effect, every damage calculation to other players, every movement has to be perfectly synchronized across all players. Now, I was in Dublin before London, now keep with me here, and I got to visit Riot Games' RBC, Remote Broadcasting Center. Now, Riot Games is the creator and publisher of League of Legends. So it was really cool to see how they host these streaming events, how it works behind the scenes, and I also got to speak to some people from Riot Games. Here's what they had to say. Hi James, how are you today? Very good, thank you. Good, I'm so happy to be here. The office space is so cool, first of all. I love the Halloween decorations. Yes, I mean, the, the, we were seeing the, the team put them up this week. It was, yeah. it was pretty cool to see. It is, it's very cool. You can tell it's a very close-knit team. That's that's for sure. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it really is. When we set out to build these facilities and, and, and the latest generation of Riot's eSports infrastructure, it's it's been clear to us for some time that using cloud technologies has become a really kind of important part of the landscape for broadcasting specifically. And so when we went to build these facilities, we, we kind of started from the ground up saying, right, how can we make sure that we can turn on cloud resources wherever possible, whenever possible. For myself, it's kind of like, I'm trying to create a toolbox for our engineering team to be able to, to choose whatever tools are coming out at the latest um, opportunities from, from companies like AWS. And so what we're seeing here, for instance, is um, the, the kind of the vertical feed production that we're doing right now. That's something that's come about really quickly over the last 12 months. Yeah. You know, it hasn't really been a thing uh, prior to that live broadcasting in vertical format to, to platforms like TikTok. Yeah. But when we did some early tests with that, it, 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 we got a lot of engagement and we realized this is something that our fans wanted to see. And so what we were able to do is effectively turn to the cloud, turn to uh, compute resources that we can turn on in an instant in AWS and we could scale that rapidly. That's all pretty cool. That's all really cool, kind of mind blowing still. As I headed home from London, I couldn't think about how far we have come. From LAN parties in basements to filling entire stadiums. I mean, from dial up connections to near light speed response times. This is just the beginning. I mean, think about how quick tech is moving. So the next time you're playing a video game, such as League of Legends, remember, you're not just playing a game, you're playing a part of a technological symphony and broadcast to millions. I gotta sit back and think about this more. It's honestly mind blowing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it and the entire process throughout it. To learn more about what AWS is up to, I linked them down in the description. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.